Welcome to our tutorial about the rectangle tool. First, let's make sure all modes are toggled off. Now, in my case, I'll leave the grid display toggled on because I like to see the lines on the screen. Make sure we're on the Home tab. Let's activate the rectangle command. The command line asks us to specify the first corner of the rectangle. Here it is. And now let's drop a point for the second corner of the rectangle. Let's activate the tool again. We specify the first corner. Now instead of clicking on a second corner, I'm going to right click and select Dimensions. Let's enter a value of 7 units and press Enter on the command line. We need to specify the width for the rectangle, let's say 5, press Enter. And we still need to specify the position of the rectangle, so let's do that with a left click in the drawing area. And here is our second rectangle. Let's create another rectangle. I'll specify the first corner with a click in the graphic area. Right click, and this time I'll select Area. Let's specify our area of 50 units. Now we need to create the length and width. Right click, Length. Let's enter 8 on the command line and press Enter. Activate the tool again. We need to specify the first corner point. Right click. This time we're going to select Rotation. Now we're prompted to specify the rotation angle or pick points. We're going to use an angle. Let's say 30 degrees. Press Enter. Now we can specify another corner point or use dimensions. Let's right click and select dimensions. Now let's input 5 for the length and 2 for the width. And press Enter. Here we still need to specify the rectangle position. Left click and we've created another rectangle. OK, let's select everything in the drawing area by pressing Ctrl A and let's press Delete. Let's create another rectangle. Before specifying the first corner point, let's right click and select Chamfer. We'll enter the first chamfer distance, 0.5, and the second also 0.5. Now we specify the corner point. Let's type in a value in coordinates, say 5, 5. Enter. Time to specify the next corner point, or we can use another parameter to define the rectangle, like rotation. Let's say 0 degrees. Again, right click, and let's select area. We'll use 55 for the area, press Enter. Now we input the length or width. Let's say W for width, press Enter. Width of 6 units, press Enter. And here we have another chamfered rectangle. Let's try another rectangle. We'll create one this time with a fillet or rounded corner. And that's why the command line prompts us for a radius, 3 units, Enter. Now the first corner point, click in the drawing area. You'll notice that there's no preview of my rectangle, and that's because it's not yet big enough to accommodate my requested fillet of 3 units in radius. A preview displays as soon as the rectangle is large enough to apply the fillet. The second corner point we apply with a left click in the drawing area. And this concludes our tutorial about the rectangle command.